What is up folks, Jorge Nito here. Thanks for deciding to stop by. Welcome back. Welcome back to just a good old fashioned tutorial where we are going over the broadside center still, my variation from Ernest Eric and By Forces Unseen. Now I know what you're thinking. Jorge, this book costs a half a thousand dollars up to a thousand dollars. Why do you have a copy? Funny you should ask because Yes, this came out in 1993. It's been sold out. This is a staple intermediate to advanced sleight of hand card magic item that is so desirable. Yeah, it sold out almost immediately. So yeah, very expensive. But Penguin Magic just had a bunch of these reprinted for $50. You could have one too. I don't know if there are any left. It just... they. Came out a week ago, I think, and uh, yeah, nothing has changed. It's still the same material, uh, you know, same design, everything. For fifty dollars, yeah, wow, that's crazy. This won't last long. I would encourage you if you want some of the absolute best sleight of hand card magic material you can get your hands on. Pick up a copy of this. You won't be disappointed. Famous effects or claptrap, Proteus. House Guest, Jackson Apsis, Flippant Triumph. I mean, these are just awesome routines, and they're not so difficult that they're just out of reach, right? It, it, I believe them to be attainable. I'm recently working on Claptrap. You recently actually saw the Clap production, my variation, where I was talking about the book and some stuff. Yeah, just a few days after that, Penguin Magic sent an email said, hey, we got these back in print due to demand. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going to look at Mr. Eric's broadside center still. I'm going to show you my variation because his is a little challenging. We'll talk about all of it. Let's get into it right now. This move is found in the effect House Guess, which is a super clean, super direct card to box effect. And it's so clean, so nice. Yeah, you know, and it starts out like this, right? So you're getting that card side jogged, and to do that is very simple. So once you put the card in the deck, now it's important to keep your index finger curled on top of the deck. You'll see why in just a minute, but you're applying pressure with the middle finger on this inner corner right here, and that's going to cause it to poke out. Uh, you're probably familiar with the diagonal palm shift, so that's that action. From here, you can take this pinky, kick it out the rest of the way, or you could do it with your index up here. So we'll just do it with the index, since the index is right up here anyway. You're going to straighten it out just like that. So it's up to you whether you want to do it with the index or the pinky. Uh, however, but you want to be in this position where that card is side jogged lengthwise. So at this point, Whenever you have it, just like this, what you're going to want to do, index curled, you're going to want to turn the deck, what is this, uh, vertical, I, I don't know, straight up and down. So, And you're essentially going to do a hand-to-hand -hand transfer, which is going to end up in this hand. Uh, the grip of the left hand mirrors the grip of this hand, so you want the index of the left hand curled like so with everything um, you know laid across the bottom your fingers you want a little bit of liberty with the pinky because we're going to need that so at this point once you've done the hand-to-hand -hand transfer essentially what you're going to do is kick this card out in the in the motion of turning this deck straight up like this you're going to use your thumb to just kind of kick it out ever so slight and I'm left in this V-shaped position from here, you are in the position to do the still in one foul sweep. And that's just simply in the action of squaring the deck. You're taking the card into Tenkai along for the ride. From there, you could take the deck, table it, and you have this card palmed off into Tenkai. So that's basically the rudimentary... Um, you know, mechanics of it, just me running through it real quick. Now, Ernest Eric, he does everything uh, with the pinky, if I'm reading it right. So he is able to somehow, you know, get this pinky to do most of the work. I should mention this part as well, I forgot. So once you're in this position, 
you know, you, you turn the deck straight up and down, you do the hand-to-hand -hand transfer, now it's in the left hand. Once you come back, you're actually, you're coming to bring the deck up like this. So, but you want to take the pinky and apply pressure, just a little bit of pressure to that corner. That's going to help whenever you go to kick that card out. So you want to keep um, this edge of the deck neck tied. That way they don't see, you know, anything. And then you're left in this V-shaped position. And that's just what you need to come in and take the deck, take the card. So yeah, like I said, you could from there do whatever you want. Now in the actual effect, he teaches, you know, a way to load the card on on uh on the bottom of a card box, it's essentially, you know, the same action reversed. Uh, people use it a lot. I see in loading it to the bottom of the deck. So that's it, guys. That's that's just so my own little variation is very simply using the thumb of the right hand, uh, obviously pinky pressure, using the right thumb to just kind of help get that card kicked out the position that you need. From here, like I said, you're coming in to just uh, clean up the sides of the deck. So in just one foul sweep, you steal away that card. And that is the broadside center still. Alright my friends, I hope you enjoyed that. You know, this is an awfully fun move to practice and it does look really clean. The more and more that you, know, you uh, familiarize yourself with it, handle it, practice it, you know, it's just going to get cleaner. Uh, perfection comes with practice. I'm not saying I'm perfect in any way. My gosh, uh, long way from it. Uh, but yeah, you know, obviously the more practice, the better we get. So with that said, there you have it. $50 on Penguin Magic. Do yourself a favor. Pick this up while it's, it's still around. If not, it will be sold out and they'll be back on eBay for a lot of money. So... I just, I, I know that will happen. Hope you have a good weekend. Jorge Anito here signing off. Be blessed.